And now, my puppets are reenacting David's great victory before your lovely eyes. Hey, it's about your old man, David. I'm sick of people going on all the time about how great my dad was. Well, we could do something about it. Oh, oh the donkey will forgive us. <laughs> Don't be so scared. Look up. It's me. Uh, you're t t t Toby the King's fox. You don't say. Listen, I've got a job for you. Now listen, I want this to go to the uh, That'll cause total chaos. I, I don't know. That's a royal fox command. And you'll squash me if I refuse? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they would win, and thus felt pretty safe. But King David took a shine to their garden's green and attacked their land. The king of Edom could no longer defend his land, and his son Hadad disappeared. Who knows where he was last seen, as all this happened in the past. Mm, hey, Puppet Master, are you telling that same old story again? Your Highness, your father, King David. Yes, I know. It's just that it's getting... Uh, how can I say it? A bit boring. And what about my stories? Well, uh... Like that time when I ordered the sheep. Let me tell you how to tell a good story with your puppets. Your Highness, no! Uh, Kinglet, help! Uh, Kinglet, help! Solomon! Is that kid the son of merciless David who destroyed the city of my birth? He's an unruly young renegade, but this might be my last chance. I was given something sticky only yesterday. I bet Solomon shoved it into your beak, didn't he? That's how he gets rid of sweets he doesn't like. Look out! Here comes the chief advisor! Out! Everyone out! So what was all the commotion about, your highness? We were just having a bit of fun, Jehoshaphat. Sire, that animal got you into trouble again. But that's what Toby's like. It's not his fault. He's a hundred percent fox. Your dear father always took my advice, and that's why he was able to leave you such a wonderful land. He was so busy with it that he never took notice of me. And please have respect for the ring your father gave you. 
The ring represents your royal power, and these statues were created by your loyal people. You are nothing without them. I am the king! Who needs to go and get ready? The Queen of Sheba could be here at any moment. Balkis? So you invited her after all? Your kingdom must have a queen. But I don't want to marry her. You are a king, and you have duties. Oh! They're here already! Quick! We need to prepare! Are we here so soon? So soon? But we've been traveling for the last two months, my queen. But Nanny, if I have to win Solomon's heart, I need plenty of time to get my makeup right. True love needs no makeup. Oh, <laughs> Hannah. Girls today are only interested in what brand of camel a boy is riding. They say that Solomon is wise. <laughs> wise? And terribly wealthy. Now that Sounds more like it. Use a bit of perfume. If he turns his nose, I'll give him a good punch on it. Listen. What's that silence? Uh, you can go now. <laughs> I mean, wow. Listen, you don't happen to know where I can find the local king, do you? Uh-huh. We were supposed to meet up here. Uh-huh. Psst. Hmm? What is it, Nanny? It's him. It's Solomon. You? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no! My girlfriends are gonna tear me to pieces when I get home. So then, that must mean you're Balkis. I'm like, yeah. Mm, you smell good. <laughs> Sorry about the nose thing. A pretty good punch for a girl. Hello, <laughs> Kinglet. This is the stuffing calling. Come on, let's get out of here. You want me to leave her side? No way. Just look how lovely she is. Don't tell me you fancy a puppet like her. Will you shut up? Are you talking to me? Oh, no. I was talking to my fox. If I told my girlfriends back home that you talked to foxes... <laughs> oh. oh, you're a darling thing. Don't be afraid, sweetie. I'll look after you. Please, wait! Your eyes are as tame as, um, the flapping wings of a dove. Oh, don't bother. Why don't you tell me about your father instead? About my father? They reckon he was a cool guy. He even sent the demons to hell. So, you don't think I'd be capable of hunting down a demon? I'd believe it if I saw it. I've still not seen what kind of sacrifice you'd be willing to make for me. Anything! Well, if you gave me your fox, I might be willing to believe you. Its fur would look really good around my neck. <gasps> what? You can forget that! <laughs> I want to be taken home this minute! Please, the focus, wait! If you prove that you are really as wise as they say you are, then perhaps, maybe. Oh, Kinglet, don't let her tempt you. <laughs> Thank 
King Solomon is about to display his infinite wisdom. Queen Bacchus is going to ask the first question. Here are a hundred roses from the gardens of Shiva. Only one is real, and the others are stitched from silk. Can you tell me which is the real one? Hmm. is the only rose that grew from the ground and not on the loom. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Move aside. Let me pass. <laughs> now you are going to answer the question that I pose. So, King, when will you give me back my ring? Who are you? And what ring are you talking about? My name is Haddad, and I come from Edom that David destroyed with fire and steel when I was only oh. a child. You mean my father? He is the one who stole my father's ring, leveled my city to the ground, and sent me off into poverty and suffering. But there's peace now. There will be no peace until you return my father's ring to me. What ring are you talking about? The one on your finger. I swear that I will only find peace when I have the ring on my finger. You were taught to hate, so no good can live in your heart. I came here today to offer you peace, Solomon. But you are as cruel as your father was. Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> You have slighted me, Solomon, and so I curse you and your people for all eternity! I call you demon, I summon you, evil one! Appear now from the darkest deep, come forth as you wake. From sleep. I free you now from eternal night. Come forth and step into the light. Asmodeus, you are here at last. Who are you, mortal fool? I am the one who summoned you forth and cut a path to the center of the earth. Haddad of Edom. Expect no gratitude from me. I am the demon of uh -huh. hatred. One look from me, and brothers go for each other's throats. I sigh, and evil fills the air. Hatred follows closely in my tracks. I can see that it is a long while since you walked on Earth. The world has changed a lot. But I can be of assistance to you if you... Do you dare bargain with me, maggot? Revenge! I only want revenge. Revenge? I like the sound of that. On whom? On the king of Jerusalem. On David, who imprisoned me? David is dead. Now his son, Solomon, wears my father's ring. Help me get it back. Ugh. David is dead. I can still destroy all that he has left. We both want the same thing. But Jerusalem is guarded by magical gates that not even you can break through. Believe me, I can. Did you hear that? 
Uh, yeah, at least ten times. Since dawn this morning. If it keeps on like this, the city will collapse. Believe me, it's twice as hard with ears like mine. I'll send all the lions, mules, and foxes of Jerusalem to silence him. Foxes? That's... That's a really bad idea. I... Oh, 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 oh. This is Asmodeus, demon of hatred. Did he escape? Asmodeus? A real demon? Did you hear that, Balkis? Just as you wished. What? I wished for this? Toby, what do we need for a demon-destroying expedition? Well, if you're going on a trek, I'm sure you'll find everything you need in Balkis's luggage. <laughs> Don't you two go nosing through my things, okay? We might just borrow a couple of bits for our mission. But please, your highness, don't go. Think of the dangers. The desert sun is very... I'll take goat grease. Factor 50. And who will rub it onto your back? Oh, well, uh... Eagle! Come to me! I command! That's very brave of you, your highness, to confront the screaming demon all alone. Brave, but foolish. Do not forget yourself, Eagle. I am Solomon the Wise. <clears throat> Could you hold it a bit steadier? Any more turbulence and I'll launch my breakfast. What are you doing here? Looking for adventure. What else? Oh, now let's see where we are. Plenty of stone and sand, Far too much sun. So depressing. We are not on a holiday. We have arrived, your highness. Hear me, Jerusalem. Destruction awaits you. We don't want to land here, do we? Solomon the Wise commanded it. And I obey. Hear me, Jerusalem! He should be locked up for sound pollution. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You're coming with me. You know I don't know anything about demons. Leave Asmodeus to me. You take care of Haddad and make sure he comes to no harm. No harm? <clears throat> this one's so bad, even the vultures would turn their beaks up at him. Asmodeus, I command you to release him. You will have to defeat me first, Child King. Then you can tell me what to do. I can see that your time in chains has drained your strength. I've still got plenty enough left to deal with you. You take care of Haddad. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Everything's fine. I caught him. Show yourself, demon. As you wish. I'm telling you! 
you for the final time to bow before my will. And why would I do that? No! avoided the dangerous bit. Is that Asma... Asmodeus? Don't worry. I've caught him in a magic trap. Great! Well, we can go then, after we make sure that these two never see the light of day again. We're taking them both with us to Jerusalem. Have you gone stark raving mad? The demon as well? Especially the demon! I want Balkis to see that I'm just as courageous as my father was before me. Yeah, yeah, you risk everyone's life because of a dead man. Eagle! Eagle, come to me! Take us home. I'm sorry, but I can't. But I command you. I promised your father I would protect you from making stupid decisions. Are you saying that you don't want to take us home? Let's say I can't carry such a heavy load. Okay then, Kinglet, just get rid of them now. Forget it. There's no way we're leaving Hadar or the demon here. Well, it looks like we're stuck because we'll never make it through the desert on foot. Hey! What's that? No. Oh, I understand. This is him. Stand aside, Jehoshaphat. This is your father's demon defense system. Cancel the spell, Jehoshaphat. But that will leave the city unprotected. Your father never allowed such a thing. But I am king now, and I command you. Huh? Hey, wait for me. Are you out of your mind, Solomon? You deliberately brought Asmodeus into the city of Jerusalem! You wouldn't understand, old man. I need to shine in front of Balkis. Oh, you poor child. Balkis' beauty blinded you completely. I've proved that I'm as great as my father was. How silly you are. Your vanity is going to destroy Jerusalem. I c command that you return to the jar at once. No thanks. It was a bit tight on the shoulders. And I wasn't mad about the decor either. 
Is this the famous ring? Hmm, quite a pretty little thing. I was just thinking that I should really kill Solomon. <gasps> then you can give it to me, as you promised. Kill him! You serve me from now on. Kill him. <laughs> We're coming, sire. The demon's breath fills everybody with hate. You've lost that happy twinkle in your eyes. A veil, boys? Oh, much prettier. That's what I call a slippery ending. Uh, sorry, but um, you big ugly whoever you are, uh, do you happen to... What? Uh, have I been kidnapped or what? And there's a bit too much of it up here. Let me ride on your back, Eagle. You're unworthy of your father's inheritance. He's right. Goodness is buried so deep in your heart that only the Shamir, the stone digger, could bring it out. The Shamir? Eagle! Uh, no! Ah! Solomon is dead. I blew him high up in the air like a feather, and he'll come back down to the ground like a brick. Woo! Blop! The throne of Jerusalem is mine, and... Hey, what's this? Ah, let go! Ah, 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 ah. You'll pay for this insolence, I swear. I'll have you cut up into spittoons. It looks like they think someone is going to return and send you back to your dungeon in the deep. Only David was capable of such an act. And he is dead, along with his stupid son. Maybe he is still alive and will imprison you with the help of the Shamir. The Shamir? The stone worm? It's as ancient and old as the world itself, and can tunnel through the toughest rock. Where can I find this creature? David and Jehoshaphat kept its hiding place a closely guarded secret. So it must be somewhere around here. <sighs> Give me the ring. You promised. You fool. I haven't got time to waste. From now on, I will be your master. No, 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 no!
Why has my curse had no effect on you? I'm too old, and I know you too well for your evil magic to have any power over me. Show me where you've hidden the Shamir! <sighs> Oh, yes, I see now. This is the rhyme that reveals the whereabouts of the Shamir. <laughs> Toby! Toby, where are you? It's okay, pal. We're gonna be just fine. Just fine? First, ooh, going up and ah, going down, and you say that things are just fine? Relax. Could be much worse. What could be worse than a mouthful of sand? <coughs> And ears stuffed full of gravel. The fact that a demon has taken control of all of Jerusalem? And whose fault would that be? I suppose it's mine. But Bulgus is just so beautiful and... Look, Kinglet, I was always on your side when it was about fun or a freaky thing, but now you screwed it up! What were you thinking? I don't... I don't know. My father... David was such a great king. I don't know anything about what he knew because I'm just, just a silly kid. Hey, don't. What would the girls think if they saw the king crying? Fine. I'm, I'm fine. What's that? Ah, uh, it's an old poem my dad taught me. It gives the whereabouts of the Shamir. The legendary stone worm who could chew mountains into molehills. What? That Shamir? Do you remember what the eagle said? Sure I do. He said that I'm a useless king who deserves to make a hole in the desert. And that only the Shamir can help you? Of course. You're right. The Shamir can send the demons back to prison. Beyond the desert, mother of all gongs, at the feet of the sun-kissed rocks. Across the Red Cliff Canyons is a town carved into stone where Shamir is left in peace alone. Hmm. Tell me where those canyons are. Is a town carved into stone? Hey, I know that. I've traveled along the winding path at the bottom of a red canyon. Beyond the copper mine. In the bare hills, a city carved in stone that can only be Petra. So, what are we going to do now? Stop! We have to get to Petra, and you will show me the way. Do you think it's death? I said stop! Now that's more like it. An army of servants is better than one. Are you sure they're here to serve you, Kinglet? Now we're really in trouble. Which way to Petra? I don't know. Okay. Which way to anywhere with a bit of shade and a drop of water? Maybe that way. Toby, don't stop now. Water, I'm parched. Stop! Do you hear? As king of Jerusalem, I command you to... Oh, oh. Stop! Stop, I say.
Please, let me help you, my friend. Show me where you're going. very wrong here, Nanny. This place is gross. Where are we? Be quiet now, my queen. Be quiet when I feel like screaming. What happened in the palace? And where are we? We are in the secret tunnels. They run under the palace so that the king can escape in case of danger. Oh, I chipped a nail. My makeup is all smudged and, and I am a queen and I want to go home right now. Puppet of hatred, I now order you, go to Petra. As you wish, master. You will be a wealthy suitor to the daughter of King Salim, the king of Petra. Go there and seize the Shamir, the stone worm. surely give you a big bag of money just in case you want to buy me a lovely present I've no intention of telling anyone that we're here what then uh, let's be a cool fox and this clown on the road I'm going to pretend to be a simple beggar in order to avoid drawing attention to myself Halt! what do you want in Petra I'm poor and thirsty huh if you're willing to work hard I already have the job for you. <laughs> oh, Ma! Father, leave me alone. I have the right to know where you have been. All right. I went to the Bedouins' camp beyond the thorn bush. An unmarried princess should stay in the palace. I have still not met a man whose hand I would even shake. You have to be married by your next birthday. If no better suitor presents himself, I swear I'll marry you off to the royal camel poop scooper. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was King Salim's daughter? Pretty, pretty, huh? Arub, witch of the kitchen, this man seeks work. All I can see is a bony little cockerel followed by a rat. <laughs> Work him hard and make a man of him. Get to the wash tub. You can use your rat as a dishcloth if you like. Is she serious? And I've always wanted to sit in a gold chamber pot. But no, you prefer to do the washing up. You don't have time to look at the ladies. Say it not, it's him. Run, the arrogant kid is here. Get some sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a hard working day. You're right. I recognize him, animal abuser. And hater. Donkey sadist. Everybody in Petra knows who you are, so you would be advised to keep a low profile. Leave them, Toby. <laughs> Toby? Huh? Is that really how you see me? Well, besides me, Kinglet, I don't know another animal who cares a flea's itch for you. Go 
back to work, you lazy servant. I will sell you to the king's kitchen, you beast! I'll show you, you smelly hunchback! Stop! What are you doing? How dare you hurt that poor creature! Stop that at once! Wait, who are you? I... I work in the kitchen, Princess. I've seen your face before. What's your name? I'm sorry, but I've got to finish my chores. I know what you did, just now in the square. I saw it all. I don't know what you're talking about. You saved the camel. You must be mistaken. I've never met a servant before who gives as much as a whisker about animals. Go back to work, you lazy servant. Go, Toby. We must hurry to find where King Salim is hiding the Shamir. Hmm. at the gifts your many suitors have sent you. I don't even want to see them. A precious rug from Prince Wasi. Hmm. With a woven camel. And this is from Prince Sahi. A clay jar. A skilled artist drew on it. A camel. <laughs> and guess what Prince Aesam has sent you? Maybe a camel? <laughs> How did you know? Did you find anything? I've not left a single stone in Petra unturned, but the stone worm has simply disappeared. Salim keeps his whereabouts such close secret that not even we animals know where it is. It could be somewhere else entirely by now. Perhaps if you ask the girl. You mean Princess Nama? I'm a servant. How could I do that? She'd sniff something suspicious right away. That's what happens when you decide to enslave yourself, you, you silly kid. But I'm still the king of Jerusalem. <gasps> Princess! Who are you talking to? Me? Oh, I was just playing a game. Talking to yourself sounds like a pretty silly game to me. No sillier than listening in on a kitchen boy. Okay, enough with the games. I know exactly who you are. <clears throat> what do you want me to say, Kinglet? You've made a royal mess! Come on out, princess. What's wrong, father? Has snow fallen in the desert or something? No, 
It's even more amazing miracle than that. My girl, a messenger has just brought this letter. Look! What are you talking about, father? Read it to her, Oma. My torch is shaking. I, Caliph Abdul Hamid ibn Abd al Qadir, have heard of the great beauty of Nama of Petra and will arrive in the city on the girl's birthday to take her as my wife. No! Yes! The Caliph wants to marry you! No! No, no, no! Hurry back to your master and inform him that my daughter awaits his arrival with a joyful heart. Princess Nama will ride on my back with her husband after the wedding ceremony. <laughs> How do I look? Like a drunken Nubian sailor who's dressed up as a belly dancer. That sounds good, coming from a dishcloth. Stop that, you lot. Get that camel out there. The groom has arrived. Today is Princess Nama's birthday. She is to be married on this special day to Caliph Abdul Hamid Ibn Abd El Qadir, who fell in love with her before they even met. <laughs> I am Caliph Qadir, and I have broken my hurried journey to ask for the hand of your beautiful daughter. Of course, but no need to rush things quite that much. I don't have time for a long ceremony, so if you've changed your mind... Of course not! It's just that my daughter's here, and she has her hand with her so we can get right on with her way. Excellent! But first, let us respect the tradition. The father of the bride has to fulfill a request <gasps> made by the groom. Don't worry, I only want something very small. Give me the Shamir. The, the stone, the stone worm. What are you talking about, father? Would you go against such an ancient tradition? <laughs> No, of course not. If you want me to marry your daughter, you have to decide right now. Shamir. Stop! If the Caliph insists on traditions, then we should respect them all. Not another tradition! The tradition of our people states that if the Princess of Petra has two suitors... Two! Who is the other? Then they have to fight. A duel. And with the weapon of her choice. Oh, please forgive me, Caliph, but this is the first time I've heard of a second suitor. Where is he? The second suitor? Um, I... Here I am, your highness. I would like to ask for Princess Naama's hand in marriage. Are you serious, Kinglet? And what about Balkis? I have to get my hands on the stoneworm. Huh? <gasps> the kitchen boy! That, that's... that's... Yes, that's him. Let him through. No! Solomon is alive? That's impossible! How did he survive a fall like that? Hadad, listen to me. Kill him. Kill him now. Wait. Not like this. This is out of the question. Soldiers, seize the kitchen boy. But you can't do that, father. What about the tradition? No tradition can convince me to marry my daughter to a servant. But, but he's, he's not a servant. Take your hands off Solomon, king of Jerusalem. 
who has asked for my hand in marriage. You knew? I listened in. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit. You! You are the son of David! Solomon! I taught him all he knows about washing up. Forgive me, King Salim, for disguising myself and hiding in your city. Please, give me your daughter's hand in marriage. I thought you've been cast from the throne. That's right, but... I'm sorry, but with your kingdom gone... Tell him that you'll have a duel with him. This way, no one can accuse you of murder. King Salim, I accept the challenge of a duel. What? Well, uh, I'm really not so sure. The but... weapon of my choice is the power of the mind. He who answers three riddles correctly will be the winner of my hand. Father, you can be the judge. Hmm. What? A battle of minds? That won't kill him. You have to win, Haddad. Do you hear? I'll give you the answers. Here is the first question. It is still while it lives, but when it's beheaded, it sets sail on the sea. Oh, wise Caliph, you have the chance to answer first. Still? Beheaded? Sea? I don't know. Say something, you scarecrow! Caliph? An old scarecrow thrown into the ocean? Scarecrow? Now you, Solomon. The correct answer is a tree that is cut down to make a boat. Well, the right answer... It's very simple. The right answer is Scarecrow. But, Father, that's not true. I am the judge, so I decide. Let's have the next question. Now for a more difficult one. You can only see it with your eyes closed. Eyes closed? I can't imagine what it could be. The answer is uh, imagination. The thing we can only see with our eyes closed is a dream. <laughs> correct. The correct answer is imagination. Huh? But father, we can imagine things with our eyes open too. You're cheating. The Caliph has answered correctly once again, and so you will marry him. But they still have one more question. Giant birds with wings of gray clouds the skies all night and day. What is it? Is it... is it a faded raven? Yes, of course it is. I'm sorry, your highness, but the correct answer to your daughter's question is fog. Enough! Enough of these childish games! King Salim, if you don't give me your daughter's hand, I... But I will! God, seize him! This way, you cursed demon. Watch out! the box gone it's gone oh my lovely round bottom 
Don't worry, that's not lost. I can see it quite clearly. If we've lost it, we're done for. <laughs> what do you know, old beggar? Don't speak to him like that. He might be poor, but he still deserves some respect. Sorry, old man. I meant nothing by it. What are you doing in the desert? Searching for a scorpion to drop in your big ear while you sleep. Kinglet, did you hear? The old man understood me. Not now, Toby. It's all over. The stoneworm has escaped. The soldiers! <gasps> My father? No, oh, sorry. Come back, you hump on legs! Looks like we're in for a wild fight. And you want to leave me out of it? Oh, look. If it isn't the desert deserter. <gasps> Don't worry. This is my old friend, the king of the skies. Well, if you folks are done here, we can go. Come on, old man. You'll get trampled if you stay here. Are you sure you want to save our lives? You can stay if you want. To me, soldiers! Solomon is alive and on his way to Jerusalem. Set a trap and kill him. Please stay with me, old friend. I'm gonna need your help. This is a battle that you have to fight, Solomon. If you really need me, I will come without being called. What's wrong? I failed as a king, and now I've let the stoneworm get away. What do you need the stoneworm for? Because I can only defeat a demon with its power. We should get going. Hang on a minute. Where's the nice old man gone? Old man? Nice old man? Where are you? Come on now. He'll follow us. I'll be a hat if that old tramp is on the straight and narrow. Leave that to me, your highness. Don't you have servants to make fires for you and Petra? I'd feel ashamed of myself if I couldn't even do this much just because I was born a princess. If my father could see me now, I'm sure he'd be ashamed of me. While you still have your head and your heart, you can't go very wrong. Make me jump, you old bag of bones! Where have you been? Solomon? Yes? Tell me, is Queen Balkis as beautiful as people say? She really is, but... Yes? Well, I don't know how to say this, but your beauty is just so different. <gasps> Look! I knew it would be here! I recognized the plant! Tell me, you old jackal, how is it that you understand me? As far as I knew, Solomon was the only person on Earth who could do that. That's right. He is the only person. <gasps> what is it? It's a taproot. Give me your sword. Mm. It's cool and sweet. It's a miracle. It's no miracle. Just knowledge and patience. That's all there is to it. We've arrived. Where to? I don't think this is Jerusalem. I'm going this way, but you must continue down the other road. Why would I want to go that way? To tag on to a caravan that'll take you all the way back home. Sorry? Jerusalem is a dangerous place. So? 
Look, Nama, you have to understand that. I understand. Well then, all the best. Do you really think I'd leave you on your own? Nama... If so, then forget about it. I... You couldn't even wash up on your own a couple of weeks ago, so don't pretend you don't need me because... Nama, I... I... Because you... you really Nama. do... Nama! Yes, say it. I'm listening. Come on, spit it out. Thank you. <gasps> That's exactly what I was waiting for. What? The old beggar! He's the Shamir! The stone worm! <laughs> If you want to live, then get in here. Come on, come on, hurry up. <coughs> I always knew he was hiding something. further in where to I can't see my hand in front of my face hmm. oh. <laughs> this way if you agree I think we've shaken off the soldiers. So you're the stoneworm. Shamir, if you don't mind. You tricked us good and proper, old man. You never once asked my name. How long were you hiding in Petra? Since I carved the city of Ruck for King Salim. Last, just in time to hear. Mercy, Master! A cave! A cave appeared from nowhere! Cave? What sort of a cave? Show me! A cave opened up where there was no crack in the rock? That can only mean one thing the stone worm. Jerusalem was always a tough town, but this is taking things too far. Have you come back again, Solomon? Yes, I've returned to banish you to your underground dungeon. Huh? <laughs> and who will help you? Let's look. A flea-bitten fox, a frail girl, and an elderly beggar? Demon King's dogs from hell. 
He must be immensely powerful if he could summon them. Relax, there's plenty for everyone. What's that? Your Highness, what are you doing here? All you ever think about is eating. You are mistaken, my furry friend. I'm not eating, I'm feeding. Look, Solomon, a whole army of escapees. Hate can only be defeated by the army of the meek. My army. But they haven't got any swords or spears. Look at them, Kinglet. I thought that all you needed in order to rule was a throne and a ring and that being David's son was enough to be a good king. But now I know that true power doesn't come from a ring, and that true loyalty doesn't live in a throne, but in all of you. Please come to me, birds and beasts of this beautiful land. One elephant? Is that the best you could do, you foolish child? Don't leave me out of the action, you big lump! Do you think there'll be a victory feast after the battle? But of course, either for us or from us. But there's bound to be one. Attack! Kill them all! Destroy them! They're still my people, even if they have been poisoned by hatred. I need to get closer in order to open the ground and send the demon back to hell. Hey! Oh, look! It's the nanny from Sheba! Hey, slow down! Who is this girl? Oh, her? She's Queen Balkis. A very pretty straw crown you have on. And who is she? Oh, oh, uh, she, she's just a girl from Petra. Just a girl? Well, not exactly. She's Princess Naama, the daughter of King Salim. Hmm. There is no time for this now, girls. Solomon, you know the way. Thank you. Come on, Shamir. <laughs> Where are you, child king? so that I might see your pale face. Perhaps you'd better turn around, demon. How did you get here? Stop. I know you're gonna tear me apart because you're a strong and mighty demon. Clever boy. If you're willing to grant me a final wish, I will give you the Shamir. Are you saying that you have the stone worm trapped in that bag? If I let it out, it'll escape in the blink of an eye. Be careful with that bag. Hold the top shut tight and pass it here to me. You first have to promise to release Jehoshaphat. Don't do it, Solomon! Is that all you ask? <laughs> Look into my eyes and make your promise. Well... If you waste any more time, I'll let it go. Shamir for Jehoshaphat, you say? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, 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 Simon. Don't be a fool. Silence. Very well. Give me the stone word, and after I've torn you apart, Jehoshaphat will be free to go. Do you promise? Hmm. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. <laughs> now give me that bag. Take it and hold it tight, or else it's sure to escape. Ha! You are mine at last, Shavir. <laughs> you tricked me, Solomon. Yuck! He's got chicken legs. <laughs> Help me, Haddad! This isn't yours, demon. Forgive me, King Solomon, for my thirst for revenge. And you forgive me for my father's crime that you sought to avenge. But we too can put an end to this strife. And so I give you this gift as a permanent sign. The ring is yours that once was mine. They said you wanted to talk to me? Oh, Solomon, at last. How does this look? Beautiful. Just like you. Oh, it's just a cheap rag. I hardly brought a thing with me from Sheba. <sighs> Why did you call for me, Balkis? Oh, it's about the wedding. Wedding? Uh, our wedding, of course. <laughs> Isn't that the will of our people? Sure it is. I mean, maybe. But, uh... Peach or turquoise? Uh, Bulkus, I... Um, you know what? <laughs> Don't say a word. I've been thinking, and... Let's depart as friends instead. A wedding for me means true love. So, what are you saying, Bulkus? That our friendship is indeed precious. I am sure our paths will cross again. I fell in love, Bulkus. With me? With a girl who was born a princess, whose heart is pure and whose spirit is free as a desert breeze. A girl who stayed with me when I was a nobody or nothing. A true love? Oh, that is so romantic. Nama, I... Yes. Rejoice, Jerusalem! Why, Solomon is now a man, and once again the king of all the land. Of peace was here at last, and it would be many a year before it passed. And who was the one who got it sorted with no fear? Oh, Toby, of course, the furry fox hero. 